Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. Welcome back to the channel. You're about to see the new car reveal. If you are following my Instagram, you probably already saw it just because it's a little bit easier and quicker to post on Instagram, whereas it takes hours to film, edit, and upload the YouTube videos. Um, but I'm super excited. I really am. I did tell a lot of people that I didn't think I was gonna do this. I said, I'm probably not gonna get another Subaru. I'm probably not gonna get a, another new car. It's gonna be a cheap beater for a while. But these people in this market right now think that their used cars are worth their weight in gold, and I don't understand it, so I gave up. I looked around for a long time, and I know people are gonna say, oh, you could have found something, and I could have. But here's the thing. I was looking at like 1999 or 2001 Honda Accords and people wanted $9,000 for them with almost 200,000 miles on it. That is just stupid, right? So I started looking at getting a car from a dealership and they are all, you know, through the roof. The prices are just insane and I'm like, okay. I started looking at like used WRXs, used STIs and I did not want to get into another VA chassis. I was like, maybe I'll get into a Hawkeye or something like that. Prices are just through the roof, at least in my area. It is like impossible to find a good quality used car for a reasonable price. And I was like, screw it. If I'm going to spend this kind of money on a used car, I'm just going to get a new one, get what I want, and have something to build off of. And that's what I did. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm a little scared, but I'm really excited. If you guys follow the journey with me and you stick with me through this build, the 2.0 build, uh, we will see, or 2.4 actually. You guys already know what it is. I'm just going to take you out and show you the car. Well guys, there you have it. You saw it, my brand new 2022 Subaru WRX. I'm super excited for the channel to have this for you guys and to hopefully do some really cool stuff with it. Obviously, we're gonna start off with the simple stuff. You know, I'm gonna do a couple of review videos of it, talk about some things, um, because there was another car that I was very, very, very interested in and I almost got over this car. And I wanna make a little video talking about that a little bit and then I kind of want to talk about the differences going from the VA chassis to this car. Now, this isn't the first time I've driven the 2022 WRX. Uh, when I was in Florida working at Import Image Racing, we had a shop car 2022 WRX. So I already got to tear it apart a little bit, learn my way around it, and I got to drive it and have fun with it. So, um, you know, I, I'm already familiar with the platform in most uh, cases, but it's still really cool. Here it is. This is my Magnetite Gray 2022 WRX. It is a premium. Um, with the Harman Kardon sound system, which is amazing by the way, and uh, sunroof. I think those are the two options that came with it. Um, also, it has all LEDs, which is weird. I guess only the Limited has the LEDs in here. So this still has the little orange amber reflector uh, daytime running light thing, which is really ugly. So we'll be addressing that soon right off the bat because that's probably one of the first things that I don't like about the car. Um, but I actually already have one part for the car, uh, two parts, but I'm only gonna install one. I have a transmission mount that'll fit this car, but I'm not gonna use it because it's a solid transmission mount. Don't wanna do that. And I also have a Noble rear fog light, rear fourth brake light. Uh, I have actually three brake lights, but one Noble install kit for the 2022 WRX that was a extra that we had when we got the prototypes in uh, when I was in Florida and I just, am, somehow was still in my toolbox when i got back home and i found it i was like oh okay i didn't know what i was going to do with it well now i know what i'm going to do with it so um that's an extra one that i had laying around and now it's going to get put to good use so i'm really excited i'll do a little walk around here it is of course i had to get the same color i was very much debating getting a red one because i really wanted a red va chassis when i got that but i kind of got sold on the gray and i really liked it and i, I wanted to stay with the gray so you can see the interior, you know, just a regular cloth interior, nothing fancy. This isn't a limited or a GT. Of course, the GT is only available in CVT and you know I had to get a manual. Um, so there it is. I mean, 
anyone that knows the VB chassis so far knows, pretty typical. Um, but there you can see the Harman Kardon upgrade sound system, which I am loving. I love the new floor mats. That's floor mats for the 2015 to 2021 uh, didn't have that red WRX lettering like that on the all weather mat. So I love that they incorporated that for the new WRX. They look really nice, but it is what it is, right? It's a WRX. Uh, it's, it's all familiar to us, but we're going to have some fun with this one. So I have a bunch of stuff already planned for it. I can tell you right now, I already have like five videos um, that are probably going to be coming out in the next three to four weeks. Just talking about the car, um, going over some upgrades I want to do, reviewing it compared to the other car that I was going to buy. And yeah, so that's that. Don't want to take up any more of your guys' time. I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy today. I drove around all day long with the car and did a little photo shoot with my buddy and his new uh, uh, WRX hatch. So we went out and took some pictures of the cars together uh, because we're both going to end up modifying these cars. And right now mine and his are both completely stock. And it'll be really cool to, we actually have a picture uh, of our 15 WRXs that we both had. And you can see in the picture, his was a little bit modified when I got mine, but uh, that's because I had the silver one before that. So we ended up taking like a, a before and after picture of our cars um, kind of at the same spot, same location. So uh, it's cool to have those pictures. And now we have that both of our cars stock side by side so we can go back in time and maybe take those same pictures once the cars are a little more modified. But overall, I'm happy with it. We'll talk about it a little bit more as the time goes on and uh, we start doing some more stuff to it. But thank you guys so much. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. Um, drop me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. And, you know, let's talk about what do you think of the car? Um, what do you think of its potential? Because I think it's going to be a great build. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this thing. Um, and don't ask me if I'm painting the fenders yet because I don't know if I'm going to or not. I, they don't really bother me. They really don't bother me. The only thing that bugs me is the back bumper, which I will be paint matching. But the flares really don't bother me, so I don't know if I'm going to paint them or not. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys again in the next video, which will be coming out shortly.